Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to get WordPad back in Windows 11. So for some reason Microsoft decided to remove it. Um, this is a 24H2 computer and it does not have it, but I have another 23H2 computer that still does have it. So if you type in WordPad, it looks like it'll launch it because it has the icon here, but it just takes you to a website and if you click on download that doesn't do anything except give you some suggestions. So what you can do, a couple ways, so if you open up File Explorer, go to the C Drive, Program Files, Windows NT, and then Accessories. So if you do this on a computer that does have WordPad, uh, you will have these two files here, and then in this en-us folder, you will have this file here as well. So you need all three of these files here. So you can take these two, just copy them right to there, and then you can take this file and put it in this folder, or just replace the folder altogether if this one's empty, like it is in this situation. So you could get these files from an older Windows 11 computer or even from Windows 10, but I will put a link in the description where you can download them so you don't have to go grab them from another computer. All right, so let's start by copying this here. So you're going to need admin permissions to do so. Now I'll take these two, copy these over here. All right, so now we have our two files here and our one file here. So you can move them and just put them there. I just copied them so I still have my originals. All right, so now if we do a search for WordPad, You might see that it opens the browser, but if we try the executable, you can see it opens WordPad. And what I've noticed too is it seems like once you use it or reboot or whatever, the next time you type in WordPad, it will find it and actually open it. So that may or may not be the case for you, but either way, if it doesn't work by searching for it, you could just create a shortcut, you know, copy this and right click paste shortcut. Then you could rename it, stick it in your taskbar, stick it on your start menu, whatever you want to do. All right, so once again, just copy these three files, two here and then one in the ENUS folder. And I will put a link in the description where you can download them and then you'll get your WordPad back. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.